Twilio SendGrid makes it super simple to send your first email in five minutes or less. In this video, we'll show you how it works in C Sharp, but if you use any of the languages that are appearing on screen right now, there's a helper library just for you. Let's see how it works. Your app sends a post request to slash mail slash send over to SendGrid, and SendGrid sends an email to your user's inbox. We'll start by creating an API key. Head into SendGrid and go under Settings to API Keys. Hit the Create API Key button and give it a name. Go to Restricted Access and scroll down to where it says Mail Send and expand that and click on where it says Mail Send. Scroll down and hit the Create and View button. Copy the key that appears here and store it in an environment variable. Next, you'll head to the terminal. We're going to make a new directory for our project called Send Email C Sharp. Change directories into that folder and then run .NET New Console. This will create a console application. And then we want to run .NET add package, and we're gonna add the SendGrid package to our application. And then we'll open our project in a text editor. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. Next, we'll add some namespaces. We're going to add using system.threading.tasks, so we're gonna use some async code. Then using SendGrid and using sendgrid.helpers.mail. Come down here and add a static async task execute method and then we'll go up into main and call that and call wait our code for sending the email will occur in this execute function first we'll grab the api key out of the environment variable i've stored mine as sendgrid api key then we'll use that to create a sendgrid mail client calling new sendgrid client passing in the api key Next, we'll specify the parameters for our email. First, we need a from address. So we'll create a new email address, and this will be Brent from Twilio at gmail.com. Then we'll specify a to address. I'll send it back to that same email address, Brent from Twilio at gmail.com. Next, I will put a subject line for our email, and this is going to be sending with Twilio SendGrid is fun. Then we'll add some content if it's a plain text email client. This is going to say, and easy to do anywhere, even with C Sharp. Then we'll do the same for HTML content. If it's an HTML email client, we'll just put a strong tag around that same content and easy to do anywhere, even with C Sharp. Now that all of our properties are configured, we'll use it to create a message with the mail helper dot create single email, passing each of these properties into the constructor. And then finally, we'll be able to send the email by calling client dot send email async passing in the message that we just configured. I'll pull up the integrated terminal and run dot net run and this will send our email. Heading over to my email client, I can see that the message that we just sent with C Sharp has appeared in my inbox.